All right, guys, I am back. The Styracosaurus is almost tamed at 99.8% with a 367 level taming bonus. Oh my gosh, this thing is going to be like level 1200 something here in just a bit, you guys. Like 1207 or maybe six or something like that, depending on if it loses another level here in just a moment. Oh! Level 1207, name your Styracosaurus. Okay, I'm not going to ask for names just yet because this thing may die in like five minutes, who knows? <laughs> but. Oh my gosh, the highest level critter I've ever tamed. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not for long, considering how high level pretty much everything else is, like golly. Anyways, I did want to give this thing a, uh, oh my gosh, 9,500 9, health, 23,000 torpidity, 1,400% melee damage. Uh, I did want to give it this small experience, 16 level ups. What in the world? Uh, oh my god, it gets like a thousand heckin' health per level up, holy heck. Oh, it has a pretty good stamina there, too. That's great. Let's give it some melee damage. There we go. That's going to be great for harvesting as well as, you know, defending and stuff like that. Let's give it the rest on health. Get up to, like, 50. There we go. 15,000. Uh, melee damage again or movement speed? Movement speed is actually, yeah, not that bad. I'm like, it is a Styragosaurus, so... Uh, maybe stamina? Let's do another melee damage. There you go. That wouldn't hurt. There you go. All right. Oh my gosh, fine a heck and leave, we've got this thing tamed. After getting killed by it for a dozen or so times, finally have it tamed, now it's on our side. Maybe he'll kill us accidentally, but at least he'll, <laughs> at least he'll be tamed to us this time around, right? Golly. Uh, for Zaddle, though, I need... I don't think I have any hide in my inventory right now. Uh, I, let's check. How, how, many, how many hide things do I need for a Styracosaurus saddle? Probably like uh, 165, okay. I don't know how much I have back here. Probably like 25 or something like that, if I remember correctly, because we just used some to make a... Oh, gosh. Hey, he's peeking through the corner of the heckin' place. <laughs> yeah, I've got 25 right there, so... Yeah, I'm going to need to kill some stuff if I want to be able to make a saddle for this guy and actually ride him around and stuff like that, right? So, hmm. What is something I can actually command this thing? Let's go see what level this dog... Uh, Diplodocus. I think, right? Let's go see what, if it's over like level 5, yeah, okay, 70, 784, yeah, forget about that. <laughs> what about this Brano? Yeah, I'm going to forget about this one unless it's like level 5. 780, what in the world? Why is everything 784? Well, this thing was like, yeah, this one's 308. I, I do want to keep that one because I do want to tame it here in the future. What about this Iguanodon? What level is this one? It is kind of a unique looking thing. 280, but it's a glacial Iguanodon. It is interesting as heck. I'm just, should I, uh... I guess we could try it. I feel like this is like not rare at all. And I'm just like freaking out about it because I'm it's brand new to me, you know? So I think I'm gonna tell my Styracosaurus to come I'm gonna command it to kill. Let's do it. Styracosaurus, come over here and kill the glacial iguanodon on level 280. You're like a thousand Oh my gosh, it does thirteen hundred damage! And it's only taking ninety-three damage from the Oh there you go, it's dead. It's dead already. I didn't even see it, it's already heckin' dead. 22, 36, 50, that's it? I'm like, I don't have really a, a, a good hatchet or anything. I should be able to unlock the metal hatchet, right? Metal hatchet, but we do need to make a, yeah, eight metal there. One metal for the pick, though. That's not that bad. But I do need to make a uh, a smithy, and I think I'm just barely able to afford that. What's that up to? Oh, yeah, it's the Fiomio, right? Should be able to kill that, I'm sure. Depending on what level it is, though. Yeah, 308. Should be able to kill. Oh, gosh. Get that. Get that. That's a Fiomio. Yeah, that's, that's a huge Fiomio feces. Oh, my God. Massive animal feces. I didn't even think that thing dropped massive, but I guess it does. Maybe it's the mod. It does 23 damage to my thing, and it's dead already. Jeez. Man, these things are trash. 59 hide from that. Don't mind if I do. And we're up to 109. I think we're at 134 hide in total. What do we need? 165? Because we're going to need to kill one more critter. And I'm not going to kill any of those sauropod type things. Because those things are, well, besides being level like 784 each, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to, uh, like, knock my critter halfway across the map and he'll probably, like, die or something like that. I don't know. Because <laughs> we've seen that in the past in past uh, series, right? And he's actually doing a pretty good job trailing behind me, though, so that's great. I do want to continue adventuring around a little bit here and seeing if I can find any other critters, but I'm not seeing any right off the bat at least. Uh... I'm just seeing jug bugs and, of course, those couple sauropod critters. And, of course, pteranodons, but they're I'm basically not going to be able to attack those things because they'll just fly away, you know? So, uh, I'm like, I, I don't think he harvested anything, did he? I doubt he did. Yeah, he got a level up, though. Uh, yeah, he never did go all the way up to his full health. He's still regenerating that health. It's taking him a while. Let's give him another melee damage up to 2,100% oh, melee damage or something like that, right? Golly. He was already at 2,000, though. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not going to kill that Brano. I'm not going to kill that Diplodocus. Maybe a little bit later. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll save him and tame him uh, a little bit later. I'm like, they, I don't know what level we need to be to passively tame these guys. Male Brano. I don't even know if you can. I completely forgot if you can or can't. Uh, probably not. It's not even telling me anything. Maybe I'm not close enough to it. I'm like, I'm right next to its foot. <laughs> Look at how tiny this little alien is compared to that thing. Gee. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. I really don't want to kill that. Oh, oh yeah. Wasn't there a, uh, like a Stego? Like, I think it was an adolescent or something? I, it might be grown up by now, because I did do, like, slow-mo 100, just to kind of pass time, you know, a lot faster with this guy, so I don't have to wait, like, 50 years for him to finally be tamed, you know? Uh, so that Stego is... Oh, is that another mass of feces? Or is that a rock? <gasps> I think it... Oh, that means the yep, biomia there. Let's grab that massive. That's going to be great for our farm. I definitely do want to get more. Oh, gosh, I can barely move now. How much does that weigh? 35 pounds for a piece of poo. Oh, my gosh. You're going to put this 70 pounds of poo in your inventory. Hey, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, well, what about that vinyl? What, what level is that one? 250. Pff, garbage kill. Kill. It's been marked for death. 1,400 damage. Golly, it's down in two hits. <laughs> That's nothing. Okay, so we should be able to make the uh, Styracosaurus saddle now. Fine, heckingly. Didn't it wasn't able to make the Styracosaurus saddle for their first Styracosaurus. Then this one literally killed our old Styracosaurus, and then I retaliated by taming it. <laughs> so maybe maybe that's a fate worse than death. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go back to our base. I think we have 25 left there. Uh, yeah, I'm just four short of being able to make it like in my inventory right now. I'm pretty sure we have way more than enough. Uh, uh, fiber, yeah, to, to make it because I got like billions of heckin' fiber just getting a bunch of uh, plants and stuff like that, right? Yeah, 2,474, and that's without a sickle. Like, with a sickle, I could probably get that in like, I don't know, a minute, <laughs> maybe less, maybe like 10 seconds, but on my own, just like, just hand picking everything, getting 2,000 fiber like that, god, that's crazy. I do like the mod, I don't know which mod it is, like something, uh, I don't know, it, just check the video description, but it, look at this, it's not like cluttering the whole screen with like 15,000 stacks of fiber. It's just one stack of 2,000 right there. Really, really nice and organized there, you guys. I love that. All right, well, let's see if we can make the saddle now. So, Starachosaurus, what is this one? Oh yeah, Ramshackle Terrorbird. I don't know how I got that. I don't remember it at all. But let's make this saddle right here. I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any level ups just yet. I'm about halfway to getting a level up though, but here in just a moment, we'll finally be able to, uh, oh yeah, let's see. Can I make that, uh, I should be able to make the smithy, I'm sure. I think it's five uh, metal ingots, and that's five right there, right? Let's see if I can finally make the smithy. I should be able to if I have enough stuff. Yep, I have enough. All right, let's make the smithy. And we can make the Pugnacia smithy, but yeah, I don't... It says Pugnacia items there, so I doubt we're able to make uh, regular arc items there. Uh, either way, I could slip this in, like, right there. Perfect location for that. Nice. All right, well, let's see. What can I do here? Other than, of course, make, like, the... Oh, yeah, what was a sword? Usually it requires a... Oh, yeah, I never even unlocked it, did I? Let's see, uh, sword. Scorched sword plus, uh, 100 metal ingots there, golly. I need to be level 30 to, I guess, get the regular metal sword. God, man. But I am level, uh, I'm level 30 right now. I just need to do the level up. <laughs> let's see, what do I want to do? Uh, um, let's do another crafting skill. I don't think I've done that, like, at all, except for, like, the first episode, maybe. So let's get that. I probably should have done that and then made the saddle, because I don't know, that might have helped out the, the stuff there, but whatever. Should be able to make the sword now, right? Or unlock it. Yep, there it is right there. Sword. So let's get that. Top elevator, or wood elevator, top switch. I've pretty much never used those things. Maybe I'll use them this series, though, so that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, was it primitive and then sword? Yeah, 50 metal ingots for these things, golly. But if I want to make, like, a uh, like a pick, it's like one, I think. Yeah, one and then uh, ten hide. I should be able to make that right now, right? Oh, yeah, I need that metal, though, yeah. I have enough uh, other stuff, I'm sure. I think you need hide to make the smithy. I think we just spent some, right? Uh, yeah, 20 hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where that hide went, unfortunately. But where is our styre? I guess let's make some torches finally. Like, what episode is this for? <laughs> I still haven't made any torches. Let's make it a four. Let's make four torches. Just because why not? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely want to. Let's put these in the smithy. Yes. Put those there. Even though we don't make them in the smithy, we make them at the primal smithy. I'm going to put them there just so. Uh, there you go. Just so I'm just like, yeah, okay, let's make that primal smithy here when we can afford it. Uh, how do you do that again? Just to want to brush up on that. Five, uh, no, 25 metal ingots, 45, uh, hide, and 15 crystal. That shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Like, I feel like that's definitely doable for us, you guys. But anyways, now we have, uh, torches, so that's going to be great. Uh, let's get some arrows there. I don't know if we have anything here I'd want to keep. So I'll, I'll put those up. I'll put up the extra bow. 
I don't know about the seeds here. I might as well put up the extra seeds. Uh, long grass and... Oh yeah, we have a bunch of narcberries right there. We could probably make... Let's see if we can make some narcotics. And therefore some like trank arrows and stuff, you guys. Should be able to, I'm sure, right? Uh, 40 of them. Yep, 40 of them are on the way right now. So that's great. All right. And I've got 145 raw meat right there. I can cook that up immediately. A meat immediately. <laughs> Cut that out of the video. Uh, anyways, let's, uh... Yeah, let's grab some wood. Let's actually cook with wood so we can get some charcoal out of this. Just because why not? Might as well use that charcoal for like gunpowder or something like that here in the future, right? Or like spark powder and then gunpowder. Or... Oh, what in the world? Why is there an enforcer over here? What? Come here, Stragosaurus. Why in the world is there an extinction enforcer over here? Uh, oh yeah, and then there's these massive poos. Let's go put those in the, uh, in the thing over here. Oh man, and then there's like megalodons in the water there too. Oh yeah, I wanted to make, uh, other things here too. Uh, other, other farms or whatever you want to call them. Anyways, let's get our torch out. Oh gosh, that's the, uh, Anglo right there, but I thought I just saw- Yeah, right there is an enforcer, and there's a stego. Why in the world is there an enforcer here, and what level is it? Let's check. Kill. 1,405 damage. It's down. Level 112. God, man, ours is level 1224. Are you kidding me? What, uh, thing did it drop? Is that, uh, what is that? What in the world? Apprentice? Yeah, I'm gonna to need to get used to this new hierarchy, but... This thing gives you metal, uh, or scrap metal. So I, I definitely want to keep this dead body here. For the time being. Uh, oh gosh, a level up for doing nothing. <laughs> let's get, uh, let's get health. There you go, it's always a good, uh, good round, like, thing to give it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I have one metal there, I think I might have- Oh, never mind, there you go, we, we have enough to get that one metaling it now, that's great. Alright, but it is nighttime right now, which sucks. Look at that giant megalodon in the water just flopping around, golly. There is this stego here, I want to see. What is this, uh... Level 532 is heckin' like crazy colors though, you guys. Really don't want to kill that thing, at least right now. But, I should be able to go smelt all of our metal together. And get ourselves enough metal to make a metal pick and then harvest that and force his dead body to get some scrap metal and therefore even more metal. <laughs> so let's, uh... What am I going to cook this with? Nothing in there. I might as well grab like a little bit of wood there and then get some there. And uh, I should be able to make some spark powder right now, right? I probably need to unlock the recipe. So it's, it's, uh, it's flint and... Oh, A+. Plus. Two flint and one stone. Two flint and one stone. Okay, I don't... I need to learn what this A+, plus stuff is all about. Uh, I'm like, it's literally a part of a mod that I added, but... <laughs> I need to get used to it. I'm like, it is stone and, uh... Flint. Flint and stone. Flint stones. Sponsor me now. Like, I can 50, 60 year old cartoon. <laughs> Let's grab some more extra flint and stone. Combine that together to get even more spark powder. That way we can... Cook stuff a little bit more efficiently. Let's get that uh, Enforcer Blueprint, put that over here. Might want to use that here in the future. That's going to be a great creature. Or just, just generally getting around, you know, it teleports and stuff, so that's great. Uh, speaking of having a critter tamed, this is going to be great for uh, just getting berries. And I know there are a lot of bushes, like, right here. So I'm, I'm curious, how many berries can it get? Especially with, uh, what, how much? 20, uh, let's get another level up. 2188% heckin' uh, melee damage there. Let's see how many berries and stuff it gets. I thought it'd be a lot better than that. Hey, look at that, we got the Savaroo. So now we can get the potatoes. So that's good. Yeah, I definitely want to get, uh, what level do we need to be to get the large crop plot? Oh, level 36. What level are we not? Like, 31 or 30? Yeah, 31 right now, so yeah, we'll get that here in just a bit. I think I might wait until we're able to get the large crop plots, and then I'll plant down the, uh... Oh, another, like, I have... I, don't, I, I would say that's a female, because it's all pink, but it might be a male, because it's all bright colors and stuff, you know? Anyways, I just got yet another level up right there. <laughs> what am I going to do this time? Uh, maybe I'll do... What is something I haven't done that, you know, would kind of make sense to give, because I'm like... I could do craft and skill. I, movement speed, I just don't really care about too much. Because we're, we're going to have... We're, we're probably going to be mounted on a dino from now on. So, probably not going to be on foot too often. Uh, maybe melee damage or... I'm like, I did just say health is like an all-around good thing. I'm like, yeah, I did run out of stamina a couple times off camera. Picking the bushes and stuff. So, I, I think I'll do stamina there. Maybe I'll do another stamina upgrade here in just a bit. Uh, if I do get another level up. But, man. I, not only am I a lot more protected by this guy with his like... 10,000 or, or 15,000 health, I think, right? But now, I can actually, like, be on the offensive. I can actually attack things, as well as get around just a little bit quicker as well. I, I think I'm a little bit quicker on this guy than I would be on foot. As well as, uh, harvest a bunch of berries super, super quickly as well. As, I think we cut down trees too, right? Hold on. Didn't we just do that? 
Yeah, look at that. We got 67 thatch, 14 wood right there, and getting some tinto berry seeds and stuff. Look at all these bushes we're just annihilating. I'm probably going to brighten the video for you guys so you can see it. It's almost pitch black for me, but <laughs> look at all these berries. It took it probably took me like ages to get these this many berries like on my own and now this guy can just harvest them instantly seemingly right golly <laughs> now what is that thing in the background is that a oh listen yeah see that that's another one of those like glacial iguanodons or whatever right kind of want to go back home real quick though because i'm sure that our one random metal ingot is done by now right uh before we go get that Let's, oh, no, let, yeah, let, 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 let's save those rocks until we have the metal uh, pick, because we'll probably get more actual, like, straight-up metal for- Oh, yeah, is that Enforcer still out here? I hope it is. Yes, I think that's it right there next to that backpacker. Yes, that is right there, yes, okay. So we can go harvest that thing's dead body, get some scrap metal, and, of course, smelt that for a one-to-one, -one, like, return. Instead of having, like, two metal to get one metal ingot, we'll get like two scrap metal and get two scrap metal and gets out of that so that's great that's a great return there i like that <laughs> anyways let's go check up on the forge god this is bright in here man and yep there's our one random ingot right there let's see if we can make the pick out of that should be able to right i don't think it's anything too crazy uh but i need hide now oh yeah i don't think i got hide during that did i yeah i didn't get any hide i'm like i have a hide there but i need more the S plus is able to pick that up from afar already. But let's see, what is this thing? Oh, that's the Anklo I, I want to spare. Let's go kill that Iguanodon. Let's go kill that thing. I probably should have I'm like, I wanted to kill it just a moment ago, and then I was like, oh yeah, let's go make that pickaxe. <laughs> oh, what is that thing up there? Is that another stego? Let's get our torch out to barely. I'm like, eh, it lights it up a little bit, right? Especially in first person, it's a lot more noticeable. Yeah, that's that one stego I want to save. I think it was like a high level, like 700 or something like that, right? Pretty decently high level. You know, nothing compared to my level 12, 28 or whatever we have right now. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see if we can find that glacial iguanodon. Oh, here's another. Oh, that's the adolescent stego, I think. Let's let's not kill it when it's an adolescent. Only kill adults. Because I know whenever I kill like a, a baby or a, a juvenile or adolescent, I do get comments saying, hey, why'd you do that, Ada? So <laughs> I'm, 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 I say it like every series, but I'm going to try and refrain from killing non-adult like critters. I'm like, maybe I'll kill one, like, here or there accidentally, but... Yeah, speaking of kill, let's actually kill this thing in, like, a couple hits. Yolly. Yeah, we're- I'm like, we're taking some da- Oh, yeah, we're not taking, like, any damage from it. Yeah, we just haven't regened all the way up to full health from our, uh, health level-ups, have we, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wonder, how do we... I need to see how you do the charge effect. Oh, man, this guy got a level-up right there, noise. I wanted to see how you get that charge effect, but, uh, yeah, look at that, he still hasn't gotten up to full health there, golly. But... Uh, we're up to 25 wood there. A bunch of heckin' berries. Literally just thousands of berries there. <laughs> just nonsense. Anyways, let's get a bunch of hide from this guy. There we go, noise. And I gotta level up myself. Noise. Noise. And let's see what we can do for this level up. Mmm, maybe more stamina, maybe? Or melee damage. Let's do health. Always a fantastic one to do health. Can't complain about that ever. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get back to our base. And let's see if we can make this heckin' pick now. Then finally we're gonna have metal tools. And, uh... Maybe we'll have enough hide left over to actually finally make, like, a full set of heckin', like... Oh yeah, didn't I make boots? I thought I made cloth boots. I might have made them and just... Uh, or like a hat. Oh yeah, I made a hat. Yeah, 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 I made a hat. Because I think for the... I think for the gloves and the boots you needed hide. And I wasn't... I, I didn't have any hide at the time when I was crafting the armor. So yeah, I think that's why I never made them. But I might as well just skip two hide armor instead of making stuff out of cloth. Or at least make, like, the cloth plus or whatever it was. It has, like, a thousand durability or something stupid. Uh, let's actually see. If I go to hide here. Yeah, hide pants. I'm like, it's 25 hide there. 20 hide there. 10. 12. 15. Yeah, we don't have too much hide. Let's get the hide armor. So let's get the pants, shirt, gloves, boots, and a hat. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to actually make that stuff here in just a bit. But right now, we're at 48 hide right now in our inventory. That's great. So we're not going to have to worry about... Uh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. So we're not going to have to worry about uh, not being able to make that pick anymore. So now we can make it, right? Yep, there you go. We got the pick. What are we missing for the hatchet? So 8 metal for the hatchet. So we need to get 16 actual shred of raw metal until we can actually... Uh, before we can actually get that. Of course, this pick isn't like... What's that called again? Ramshackle? Yeah, Ramshackle. It's not like upgraded to Ramshackle level like that. Uh, stone pick is, but this one should maybe give us more materials? Maybe. I'm like, I'm not getting any metal just yet. I know these are just regular stone, but uh, I should be able to get some metal from these every now and then, and I don't... And of course, it is a lot more durable than that uh, 
That regular stone. That, yeah, there you go. We got a metal right there, you guys. <laughs> I just need to find, like, shred up, like, uh, metal rich rocks and stuff. Yeah, five metal there. I need to get up to 16, like I said, if I want to get the hatchet. Which is going to be a fantastic upgrade, but I'm almost halfway there. I'm at seven right now. I might have an extra metal in the uh, forge already now that I think about it. Yeah, now we got another metal right there. Another two, three. All right, we're four. Nah, not bad. We're actually slowly getting there a lot faster than I thought. Holy heck. Another metal right there. How, how many are we up to? The 13? Okay, let's get, uh... Oh, what are we at now? Yeah, we still have 13. Okay. I thought it said plus another few metal right there. <laughs> Guess not. But, man, we're actually progressing pretty fast here, you guys. I'm, I'm like, I know I in Ark Ragnarok or something like that, we were doing way better. We were getting, like, really upgraded stuff super, super fast in that series. But, man, over here we have, like, different mods and stuff. We're dealing with, like, different circumstances. High-level critters all over the heckin' place. So, this is, this is like, a whole different experience altogether. I don't think we can... Oh, my God, look at this effect. Like, look at the Aurora Borealis up there. Holy heck, like, the light shimmering, light shafts and stuff like that. This is crazy, you guys. <laughs> man. Anyways, I should be able to smelt all these together and get eight actual ingots out of all this, I believe. Uh, yeah, I did have an extra one just sitting around over here, so that's good. I should have, a uh, yep, spark powder over here, so that's good. Let's get, I don't know, like, five. I, I, I probably only need, like, one, honestly. Let's get two, just in case. Well, let's get all those going. I don't know how we're doing here, uh, food-wise. Yeah, we're almost out of the, uh, yeah, we literally just ran out of the, uh, the actual, what do you call it, the, the wood there. Pfft, couldn't even think of the name wood. <laughs> Anyways, don't demonetize me, please. Oh, I can make even more spark powder all that. Noise, noise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What level are we now? 33. Yeah, still short of, I think, 36 to make the large crop plot. So that sucks. Uh, can I make paper? How do I do that? Fiber and thatch, and I can write down some random meme on that. Let's do it. I've never... Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, but... There you go. <laughs> so we have a note that says but. <laughs> He's over over and it says but. I'm like, I could use this as... An oh, can I not reuse this? Oh, my God. That actually took those resources just to write down but. You kidding me? Oh my gosh, can I like place that on the ground or like something? <laughs> you hover over it and it just says butt. Oh my god, that's stupid. Alright, well it sounds like it's turning the morning times right now. Yeah, look at this. It's getting slowly brighter outside as the morning sun rises over the horizon. And uh, how's our metal over here doing? Uh, we're up to three actual ingots right now. So we're, we're slowly getting closer to be able to make that metal hatch, which is great. Still not going to be able to afford this thing, though, for quite a while. And of course, I need obsidian for it, but, uh, the hide... No, nah, not, not really too far away from it. Potent nar narcotics, I'm pretty sure we have a good amount of those randomly over here. So, uh, yeah, we have 18 of those, so... It seems like the only thing that's really holding us back over here is getting the obsidian, and I do not know where we could find it here on Valgaro, but... Maybe we'll find it just kind of roaming the map. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! I have the pickaxe now! So, let's go, let's go harvest the... Enforcer, yes, Enforcer, not Defense Unit, this is the, uh, Enforcer over here, I believe, right? Let's go harvest this thing, let's get a little bit of metal from it. Uh, yep, scrap metal, seven of those, element dust, oil, electronics, didn't get anything else out of it, though, but we did get its blueprint, so we should be able to craft it here in the future if we have enough random materials. But I believe we need a tech replicator or something like that, right? And that's probably going to happen for like a billion episodes, geez, considering how slow this is starting out, right? Golly. Anyways, I could put the scrap metal up there and get uh, one ingot per actual thing there, so that's going to be a great translation there. Uh, and that's going to be smelting it alongside the actual metal there, so hopefully that's going to be done here in just a moment, and we'll be able to make that hatchet. Should be able to make the hatchet. <laughs> Let's see if we're actually missing anything else, though, other than the metal. No, I have no- I can make it right now. Boom. There you go. All right, so now we're actually officially moving to- s from stone tools, not to stone tools. <laughs> I'm like, we literally start out the series with stone tools. Like, I didn't even craft them. They were just in my inventory. <laughs> but now we finally have the metal hatchet and pick. Now we just need to get the sword. That's going to be even more metal. But of course, I, I need to just find, like, a metal-rich, like, vein somewhere in order to, to do that. But I'm kind of wanting to explore a bit, you guys. Let's look at the map here. Haven't really even explored, like, at all. If I'm going to explore, though, I don't know which way I should go. Over there is, like, a forest. Over here, looks like there's red on the minimap. I wonder if there's, like, a desert this way. Kind of maybe looks like a desert. I just don't have a spyglass. I don't have any crystals. I don't have anything. Uh, but I should be somewhat prepared with all the heckin' meat that I'm cooking over here. Like, golly, we have 72 down there. That's great. Should I bring anything else right now? I'm like, I don't have any crystals, I can't make a water jar. I can make water skins, like one or two of them, but of course... Uh, I don't know if it'd be worth it, I, I could check, but... Uh, oh, is this making berries now? No, not, not yet. Oh gosh, random lag right there. Yeah. 
Maybe when we come back, we'll plant the other plants. But for right now, I'm, I'm kind of itching for an adventure, you guys. Maybe I'll take some of these things over here just because I'm... Oh, yeah, we have small experience potions there. Should I use more on my thing or not? I don't think I'm going to be actually using these, honestly. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to be keeping these here. Just because I do not think I have a use for them just yet. And I don't want to waste them, you know? So, let me put up the extra random seeds that I have over here. There we go. Let's put all these up. If I can. I have, like, repeat, like, skins and stuff here. That I could definitely get rid of. So, there you go. Alright. As well as even more raw meat right here, right? Yep, there you go. Cook all that together, hey -do. And, I'm like, hopefully we're going to be at least near water. For the majority of this adventure. So, hopefully I'll be able to... I guess I'll put that up. So hopefully I'll be able to, like, you know, slurp water out of the river or anything like that if I ever do need water, you know. Uh, we do have narcotics here, so I could make some poison trank arrows if I wanted to. Let's make some right now. Let's, let's turn all of our current arrows into those, and then the rest, let, let's make, like, regular arrows. Let's make, like, 25 of those if I can. Uh, yes, I can make those. That's perfect. All right, nice. And now we can make those folders I wanted to make. So we could have ammo. We could have, uh... Honestly, I don't think anything else, right? Oh, yeah, let's see if we can make the, uh... Yeah, let's make the gloves, I suppose, just because... I, I just don't think I'll be able to make the hide stuff anytime soon, unfortunately, so... Let's make the gloves and the uh, feet there. And I guess we can make one water skin, just as, like, an emergency sort of meme. Just to have, like, an extra sip of water every here and there. It does cost a few hide, and, of course, we're not, like, rich on hide or anything like that, you know? But it'll help. It'll definitely help, I'd say. So let's put up the extra hide there. There you go. Put the water skin down there. Let's put on this other armor, and now we're finally fully suited up with armor. After like four or five episodes, golly. Put the, uh, there we go. And I guess I'll put a, uh, tools. Or tool. <laughs> tools. Here we go. I'll put up the extra torches there, and I'll put another torch here. And I guess I'll put, uh, drugs uh, with two Zs, because why not? <laughs> I'm cool, right? There we go. And now we have extra food right there if I need it. I really don't like how we have those spears, though, but that's probably going to be our best weapon for right now. I don't know if the hatch, I don't know if the pick does any more damage. I want to check on this anklo, though. Hold on. What level is this one? This one's 308. I think the other one was the same level, right? The weird colored one, maybe? I don't know. But it did just turn to daytime, so I feel like we can explore around and have a pretty good amount of daylight, so let's just kind of explore around right now. Maybe even uh, test ride this guy a little bit, so let's see. How did I... Was this the... Uh... Oh, yeah, this is the... Uh... Oh, God, I'm going to run into someone. Don't run into anyone. I don't want to start a fight. Okay, that's how you... That, that is the ramming ability right there, so that that's good to know. Hmm. Oh, there's a parasaur right there, it looks like. Yeah, there's a parasaur. Look at that. That's a pretty good uh, mount right there, early game mount, but of course we have a stallion Ragazaurus right now. Should I kill this Parasaur? Let's see. Of course, now I can actually, uh, level 112 garbage. Yeah, let's kill it. <laughs> let's kill that garbage. Probably kill it in like two hits. I literally killed it in two hits. Oh man, what am I like a heckin' Nostradamus over here? Jeez. Let's get ourselves a pretty good amount of hide with our new metal hatchet. Ah, eh, 52 right there. Not bad. Actually pretty decent. I, I could probably make some hide armor right now, you guys. Like, holy heck. Let's see, can I do that, though? If I make hide... Armor. What do I need? Uh, yeah, I can make hide armor. I just need the fiber, which... Do I have it in this guy's inventory? I do not know if this guy... Yeah, he didn't pick up fiber, it seems, so that sucks. But, man, we're we're able to, like, annihilate things nowadays, you guys. Like, holy heck. Still kind of waiting on this guy to slowly regen his health and stuff. I'm like, it's taking forever and ever for him to regen all the way up to full. Like, look at that. He's at 15,000 health right now. Or, he's at 10,000 health out of 15,000? He's got a long ways to go until he's full health. Another Parasaur up there. Can we kill that thing? Surely we can. I kind of want to do the charge effect on it. See how much damage that actually does, because that's a very interesting attack. Maybe, uh, I don't remember if the trike is able to do it, but let's see. So we're, we're like, pulling our foot back, or whatever you want to call it there. <laughs> kind of like a bull. And we're going to charge into that. And... Oh, that, oh, it just rams it backwards, like a like a knockback sort of meme, and it dazes it. It kind of dazes it for a second, so we're doing 1483 damage per hit to this one. What level is it, though? This one seems rather resilient. Whoa, let's go to first person so we can see a little bit better through the shrubbery. Whoa, hold on, we're in the, oh, it's, ru it's always really bloody. It is really, hold on, can I? Yeah, that charge, in, yeah, you really need to, like, hold it uh, down to actually charge up the... the the charge effect, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but he's, he's hiding under a piranha right now, so 
Might want to be careful. Don't want to accidentally attack the Brano, but at the same time, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to actually attack it. I'm sure we'll probably die if we try to do that, right? Golly. Anyways, there's that baby stegger back there. Don't want to kill that thing. But this man, this yeah, you can see what I'm talking about with the Parasaur being a good mount. So we can get a hit. Man, oh gosh, do not! Oh, is that Brano attacking me? I hope not. Okay, it's not. Okay. Woo! <laughs> that's good, that's good. That parasol is still running though. Let me charge up this charge attack. It takes a while for it to charge up though. Holy heck. And let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go, we hit it right there. Should have dazed it for a second though. Yep, looks like it's pretty dazed. And it's running away again. Man, that thing is really good at running away from us. <laughs> I love how I'm an ancient alien. You can just see this disgusting green goblin looking creature on the back of the Styracosaurus. <laughs> Looks disgusting. Uh, maybe I should have made my goblin character from Ragnarok actually have green skin. Oh, oh, there we go. Another. Oh, he looks like he reached in pretty well, though. Let's see if we can actually kill him this time now. Oh, there we go. Fine, heckin' Lee got him. Golly. Got another level up for both me and my Styracosaurus. Oh, man. Inventory is too heavy. What in the world? Where? What? Whoa, hold. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Something's happening. Wait, is there something battling? I don't know, but uh, I do not remember picking any of this up. Rafter saddle? The you guys saw it. My inventory was completely empty. Compl and we now we have a heck three of these prime uh, primitive primal picks. <laughs> primitive primal pick, jeez, and it's primitive level. <laughs> And we have a small experience potion and two saddles for Toxic Dire Bear, Toxic Dire Bear. Where am I getting this? I just don't know. I'm, I'm recording like so many episodes at once. I need to stop so I can read you guys' comments and stuff, but holy heck. Let's dismount now. We should be able to harvest this guy's dead body. I... Maybe it's from the plants like I suspected earlier? Because we were... But I wasn't harvesting any plants. My... my uh, Stragosaurus was the one ha ha uh, harvesting the plants. I'm so, like, dumbfounded. I can't even speak English. Well, I can barely speak English anyways, but even less now. <laughs> anyways, we just leveled up the health right there up to 200 health, I think. Yep, 200 health. And now we're, uh, what do I want to do for this guy? Maybe more melee damage or movement speed. Just a little bit more. Yeah, it went up about 3% right there, so that's pretty good, honestly. So now we have a really, really good tool for knocking things out. 203%. Uh, melee or damage or whatever you want to call that right there. That's really good. You guys like wow Anyways, I'll put that up right there. Oh, yeah, should I put that? Yeah, I can keep those I have to carry weight for those don't need to worry about those I'd say uh, but for this one I'd probably want to put this on number two Yeah, let's put that on number two put the spears up just cuz probably never gonna use those unless I you know need to uh, You're not able to throw the pike. I'm pretty sure right? I don't think so. I think it's purely melee. I don't think you're able to throw the pike. You're only able to throw the spears, not the pikes. Anyways, I did want to... Oh, what is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a... Is that glitched or is that like a weird sea serpent? Whoa. Okay, it's a glitch. Oh, and there's that alpha megalodon or something out there. Yeah, you can see the orange smoke there. And it's like glowing eyes too in the background. Holy... Oh, another two of them right here. Whoa. Okay, hold on. I'm going to... Whoops, hitting the wrong buttons. A third? Look at that! One right there! One right there! One right there! Uh, I'm not going to go this way. Where, where, what, what direction is this? Yeah, forget this. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I'm just going to avoid those hate. Whoa, 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 whoa! Forest Titan! Forest Titan's here? What in the world? I can fight that thing? <laughs> I don't think I want to right now, but... Oh gosh, oh gosh, is that thing aggroed on me from all the way over there? It looks like it is. It's coming like straight towards me, you guys. If it beaches here. What is it doing? Look at that thing. It's like trying to come up out the wilder like a baby dolphin splash. Oh man, they're even more like Megalodons behind it or something. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of like Alpha Megalodon or something. What? Whoa, look at this. Look at this. I'm picking things up. What's happening? I'm picking things up by just... What? Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't even do anything. I just picked all this stuff up. Look at that. It just happened again. I was just standing still! I was just standing still and it just appeared in my inventory. Hacks have been enabled! <laughs> what is all of this? I'm getting like Tabahara saddles, blueprints out the butthole, more of these tame helper things. I'm not complaining, you guys, but holy... Can I harvest these? This like weird mangled body? I don't know if I can from this guy. Yeah, he's not able to harvest it. I need to harvest it from my actual... Like, from me, you know? So I need to dismount, but yeah. That just goes to show, yeah, literally doing absolutely and utterly nothing. We just pick up 
tons of epic loot. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I don't understand it. If you go- Oh my god, there's even those- uh, oh, What are they called? I think they start with the letter K. Uh, the giant crab creatures. I forgot what they're called. Leave a comment down below if you guys remember from aberration. But, I need to go- I need to go see what that- Oh gosh. Hold on. Can I- Oh, Nautilus right there or something. What is this thing? What even happened here? Like, it's a heckin' graveyard of, like... I'm trying to be very careful here, you guys. Like a bunch of Megalodon, like, corpses right here. Toxic Megalodon. That's probably why. Holy heck. Let's, let's keep harvesting these. Let's keep harvesting them if I can. Toxic Megalodon's getting a lot of good stuff from them. Okay, let's just go, let's just go, let's just go. I don't know if there's anything about- <gasps> Oh my god, it's like right there, it's like right there! It's like right there! Go, 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 go! Oh my god! That alpha's like right there, or whatever that is! Oh my god! Oh, two of them! There's two of them right there! Oh my god! Wow! Pure luck! Pure luck! How'd I not get killed? There's three of them right there! Oh, Carquino, I think that's what they think is called. Carquino, that giant crab. Oh my gosh! how did I not get killed? Is that like a toxic Nautilus right there? Or a Manta Ray? Or something? Did I pick up more random epic loot? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Man, but yeah, we got- we got a- Oh, what is that thing? Is that a jug- what is that? Oh, it is a jug bug, level 308 randomly. <laughs> yeah, let me get the chitin from that, that might be pretty useful here. There you go, a little bit of chitin. Anyways, oh my gosh, this is- this is just insane. I need to stay out of these waters. Like, I thought I'd get good loot from those ep- like... <laughs> I don't even know, like, they were called toxic megalodons, I assume they're, like, torpor-type creatures? But I thought I'd get way better loot from them, it seems like all I got is just fish meat, which is kind of, like, uh, I, didn't I get prime fish meat, though? Yeah, I got, like, four. Eh. Not, not good, but not bad, I guess. I don't know what we could use that for other than, like, a kibble, I think, right? Which, by the way, I think there's a, I think one of the mods I installed, like, has, like, a kibble crafter or something like that? Which is something that you guys have definitely recommended I install for a long time. I avoided making like the kibble vending machine and stuff because I just felt like it was unbalanced, a little bit OP, you know? But I don't know how this kibble one in this one is, if it's like balanced or, or anything like that, but I can just avoid using it in general if I feel like it's not uh, fair, you know? But not, not, <laughs> it's, it's hard to judge things like by fairness just by how much we played thus far, you know? Uh, I'm thinking right now, like, I might want to stick to the islands here, like go from island to island. So maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll make my way over there by going from this island to that island, and then slowly make it over there, rather than just traversing across a giant body of water and not really knowing like what's on the other side. Oh, I should probably fill up my water skin, by the way. Holy heck! Actually, fill that up. There you go. Actually, you know, while we're near water, might as well. So there we go. Now our water skin is completely full, and uh, now we can just actually adventure around and see what we can find. Hopefully something interesting, so maybe some new creatures. We do have a brand new way of knocking out creatures with that poison pike thing, so that's great. We also have more of those arrows that we just randomly picked up from that weird loot peninsula, or whatever that was right there, you know? Like, you don't pick up items, like, just by standing around, so I don't know why. I don't know why the heck of frame rate literally just got sliced in half right here. Something's going on around here. But... You have to, like, pick up boxes and stuff. It doesn't just appear in your inventory by doing absolutely nothing. As far as I know, you know, but... Who knows? Maybe... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to need to read you guys' comments. I'm going to need to stop playing and actually upload these videos and read you guys' comments. and Maybe finally figure out why I'm picking up these random epic loots and stuff like that, right? Uh, oh, man, we have one of those creatures here. The Pelagornis or whatever? I forget. Oh, it's probably high levels, but... Because it survived that... Oh, I just got 700 Thatch! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just got 700 thatch without even trying! Man! Oh man, even more of these things over here. Nice. So let's see if I can... There we go. Kill this thing. There we go, we kindly got... Yeah, Pelagornis. I got it. I got it right. This one's only level 12. Or 112. <laughs> level 12. As if I'll ever see that in my second lifetime in this series, right? Golly. And as I see if the... Yeah, it doesn't have an inventory. But I can't get a little bit high from it, so that's great. Uh, oh yeah, let's see if we can get some uh, fiber. I probably should have made a sickle, but whatever. Looks like another alpha shark megalodon. Oh, a tech toxic megalodon right there. It looks like, at least, I assume. It's all green and stuff. Kind of looks like a uh, a BA megalodon from Unlike uh, Genesis, if you guys remember those. I forgot what they were. Yeah, they are just BA, I think, right? Of course, trying not to get demonetized. <laughs> 
Anyways, I should have enough hide now to make I, maybe a full set of hide armor? Let's see. So let's go to hide. And let's make the gloves, the chest piece. Oh, look at that! I just picked up more stuff! What? I just got the, the, the Tame Helper 500s! What's happening? <laughs> Holy heck! I, I'm literally standing still! Oh my god! Is there some mod that's installed that I need to uninstall? Because I'm getting some crazy things here. Anyways. <laughs> Jeez! Like, what did I even pick up right there? Hold on, if I get rid of those. What is this? A primal shotgun ammo just... Uh, heckin' toxic trank bullets? And potent trank bullets? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something's attacking. I don't know what it is, but there's another one of those alpha megalodons or whatever over there. Golly. And like I said, like, Tame Helper 500. We got two of those potent tranquilizer dart. Empty advanced dart casing. What in the world? The casing of an advanced dart filled up with your choice of advanced narcotics to make it better tra Oh, that's interesting. Fabled blood. The blood from a rare fabled dino. I just picked that up. Whoa, is that? Whoa, hold on. Do you get these drops by being near the- I assume that's what that is. I assume that Megalodon is not an Alpha, but is a fabled Megalodon. A Megalodon that only exists- Look at that thing, it's a t it's ki Every time it kills a toxic, uh, what do you call it, uh, Megalodon, we get loot. That explains it. That- because, if you guys remember from Extinction Core, if we're just near- a, uh, a, a, like, like a boss, like, the, the gorilla guy, if, if he gets killed by, a, like, another random boss or something like that, and we're near him, and we don't even kill him, we don't even get the killing blow or anything like that, we're just near him, we actually get the loot. So I think that's what's happening right here, is that whenever those toxic megalodons get killed, look at that! Is that when we, whenever that, and we just got a medium experience potion! Look at all these things! What is this?! A blueprint for an apprentice apex flak chest piece. What in the five medium or small experience potions? I picked up medium here somewhere. Yeah, two of those. Whoa. I picked up even more. Oh, I just picked up like a straight up chest piece. What in the I'm putting that on? I don't even care. Durability 9300. Are you kidding me? This is insane. This is insane. Tame helper times hundred. Well, we have times 500 right there. We're picking up even more! We're- I'm just sitting around doing nothing. I'm just sitting around letting that- that fabled, I assume, fabled- Look at this! I've just picked up another one! The to- Oh my god! 2,000 armor rating! 2,000! Oh gosh, I'm getting- Ooh, that thing's getting close. Kill those toxic things, please. I'm staying on land near that thing. Oh my gosh. I'm just- I'm just- Fishing, literally fishing for heckin' loot by just sitting near this, this, this coast. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Apprentice? Journeyman? I assume that's like top tier right there. And that's for an Apex Allosaurus. Uh, Allosaurus, I can't even speak English. Oh my gosh. This is all just such crazy good loot here, you guys. All for... This is stuff that you get for killing the, the, the toxic... Megalodons, and I'm not even killing them. I'm just getting, I'm just reaping the rewards one after another. We got an insane. Sh Do we even get like what? What? What is this? Flak infused with apex blood provides heavy physical protection. Yeah, no duh. 5100 durability, 2200 armor rating. Meanwhile, this one over here has like double the durability, but half the armor rating almost. Yeah, not really. Just like maybe like two thirds. Oh my. Gosh, is there a Styracosaurus? Just randomly? Nah, I thought I could upgrade this guy's saddle, but nah. Uh, any other, like, I don't know, legging? Or, I don't know, uh, pants? Or something like that? Because <laughs> all I have is just the highly upgraded chest piece. It'd be great if we had good, uh, oh yeah, there's a hide over here. I never even put it on after uh, crafting it. So we have the gauntlets. I don't even need the heckin' uh, chest piece anymore. Like, golly, forget that. Sheesh. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So let's take that off. Let's put these on. There we go. I just picked up even more. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, you guys. Oh my I, I assume I can I could I could take that to a uh an upgrade station and just get the stuff from it. That's why whenever I harvested the dead bodies of the toxic megalodons, I didn't get anything but like fish meat. Because we already got the epic loot from it. Wow. Wow. This series is crazy. 
These mods are crazy, you guys. Wow.